Today we're going to put some lids on our two shock towers here in the front of the car. And how do we do that? Well, you got to take this piece off, then you have to take this piece off over here, and then you have to take the center piece off. And we're going to see the battery, and we're going to see the two shock towers, which are kind of honeycombed and they, they tend to hold water. I haven't looked yet, so when you see it, you'll see it just the way I'm going to see it for the first time. I want to see if there's any water in here. And I'm going to put a couple of cover, one cover on either side on here today. But I, the first thing we get a little nervous about is how do you get to these damn things off without breaking them? And I'm hearing stories of people breaking them. When you take these side pieces off, make sure you pull it towards the center of the car or the center of the frunk. Same on this side, pull it towards the center. And this big uh, main section here lifts straight up. So once you know that, it makes it pretty easy. But now how are we going to dig these things out? Well, for six bucks at Walmart, you can get four of these little guys. And uh, you can pay more or less, but if you spend more than six dollars to waste of money, the one I'm going to use today is this little guy right here. This should work really well. I'm going to go down here. This is the first side I'm going to go after. And what I want to do is I want to get my fork underneath here okay because i want to pull stuff that way that way i want to pull everything that way okay i want to go that way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my little fork under here my little plastic fork and I'll, you hear that little snap okay yeah. so that means i got the first one going and let me go out here and just pull this a little bit now you see it just freed up wow now let's go back here to the next one i'm going to give this a little a little push here and that's that's free enough and now I got one more which is back here I believe let me see if I can get this up too there we go that's the last one. that's a little tricky make sure you get your blade back there now that's the first one is off and see these see these little guys here all right Make sure they're all in place. They didn't fall out or anything. They were all, all in place. Because when you put it back, you're going to go in this way to put them back, okay? I'm going to put this down on the well. Now, Patty's going to come over here. And I'm going to take this side off. Let's see if I can be just as lucky on this side, okay? So we'll pull this up a little bit. And that comes out. And that comes out. Sometimes you can pull them right out. It's a little easier than it looks. That one came out. That was really simple. Now we're going to do the center section. Get down here. Give that a couple of pops. Betty's going to move to my right a little bit. This looks pretty good. Let me go over this side. I'm trying to go straight up. Maybe I can do it just by my hand and lifting it. Yeah. All right. So sometimes it's easy just to lift up. I'm gonna try that. I might use my my little fork right here. Let's see if that helps. And we'll pull this up a little bit. Because that's coming straight up, you know? That's coming straight up. Alright. We got the top off. Ta-da! Let's take a look at the shock tower tops and see what we can see. I got my flashlight down here and we'll show it to you best we can and I will tell you that it is dry as a bone. This is the passenger side. Let's look at the driver's side shock tower and see what that looks like. Here's the driver's side shock tower and it is dry as a bone. So we got the plastic covers in the mail today and we'll show you what they look like. Here they are right here. They're made in the USA, so that's good. Uh, a little tricky to put in. Uh, one comes with a tie wrap. We'll show you about that. But the first, the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, take some of this uh, WD-40 and with this WD-40, I want to uh, put a little squirt on both nuts that are inside the uh, strut towers and uh, 
that way, um, I just feel better putting a little squirt of WD-40 on the two nuts that are in the shock, the uh, strut towers, and I'm going to do that right now. So on the left tower, there's one screw right here. I want to give it a little, a little bit of a squirt of WD-40, and there's another one. Let's see, where's it? Right here, and I want to put a little squirt right down there. All right. On the other side, there is one right here, and we'll squirt this. And I think there's another one right here. Yes, there is right here, and we'll squirt that. So I think that's a pretty good idea to put a little bit of WB-40 in there and on the screws that are in the uh, shock towers. And as I mentioned earlier, there's no water in there, but I'm gonna put these covers on just to be certain. So the one real problem we had with doing this, I'm gonna show you this little SOB right now. It's, um, it's this part right in here on my driver's side. To pull this off was a son of a bitch. I had to get a crowbar in here. And my wife got a nice little small hands in here and was able to pull this away. You have to pull this away from the uh, from the uh, shock tower, and there's a little hole here, and there's a little pin that puts this wiring in. What you're going to do is you're going to put the plastic cover right under here. Get ready to have fun with this. <laughs> I had to get a, a small crowbar like this to get this little sucker out, and that's the only way we got it out. Okay, so now we're ready to put the covers on. Let's do this side first. Okay, the really first thing you have to do, we've got that damn wire off, which was a pain in the ass. Now we have to take this 10 millimeter uh, bolt out of here, and I'm gonna do this right now. Oh, by the way, take your time. Take your time doing this, because if you drop the screw down there, you're gonna spend the next day and a half trying to get it out, because if it drops way down there, that's a, you know, the bottom plate that's under there and everything, it is a nightmare. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna spend a uh, little time uh, taking this off. So, <laughs> I got it, almost got it here, and I got this little baby out. Let's keep moving along here. All right, so this hump is for this wiring coming out here, and this guy here, we're going to have to slide this under here. So. Let's see how this works. Almost got it. A little further. And I think that's it. Yes, it is. Now we just have to uh, tighten down the bolt. Make sure you don't tighten this much. Make sure that you have a nice seal. That's important. And, uh, this should work fine. I think this is a good idea. Somebody asked me about the price. Yeah, 60 some dollars to my door, which I think is a little high, but hey, it's made in America and what the heck. So I'm just gonna snug this up nicely and I'm gonna leave it right at that. And this side is done. It's about one hour later and we're still trying to get this damn passenger side one on. This is an absolute this is an absolute pain in the... Now nah, that's, that, that's, 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 that piece isn't fitting. Take it, take it, it out. It is, it is. I got it, I got it, I got it. You it's don't have any. It's down there, I got it. Jeez. So you had to gorilla it on. I gorilla. How's that pot where the wires are coming out of there? Is that all right there? Oh, you checked. Everything it looks fine all right there? to me. Everything fine? Okay. Now let's get now this take cover. The cap, take the cap, the cap, put that back on. Yep. Yeah. All right. Be very careful with you that. You don't want anything getting in there. Yep. Nope. And now the only thing left to do is to put the zip tie through that hole, and we're all set. Are you bleeding at all? Nope. Hands are pretty red, though. Pat's going to uh, put the zip tie in there, I think. Pull it around. And she's going to zip tie that baby up. Hopefully she's going in the right way. I hope we're in the right direction. We'll know in a minute. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, keep going. How tight do you want it? All the way down. 
Okay, we okay. got more zip ties That's if fine. we need That's it. That's fine. Now, okay. All right. That's it. Now we're gonna put the pieces back on. All right. <laughs> After a very trying day, thank God for my wife here who has more patience than I do. I'd have sent the thing back. And small hands. And small hands, which work better. <laughs> and uh, so now we're gonna put the big piece back first, because that's the one we took off last. So I'm going to look and see, I got a pin up here. I got a pin up here and I got a little slide in here and I got another pin up here. So I'm gonna to try to match these up and see if I can get them to line up. There it goes. Ah. That's in. That's in. I think those pieces are in, Miss Patty. I think so, looking good. Yeah, now we have the last two pieces, and I'm trying to remember, I think this one came out of here. And I'm looking at where my little pieces go here, right about here. What I did was I lined up this piece with this edge right here, and that seems to help. Now let's go and do the other side. Make sure I get my, my piece here uh, on the inside of, between the fender and the, and the brace here. And then I'm gonna come down and put my, get this down low enough here, and I'm gonna line up right here with this edge. See how I'm lining this up right here? Then push this in, push this in, push this in, push that in. We're done. So there you have it, folks. There's the whole deal right there. Piece of cake. The big thing was to line this up right here, and that helps. But uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would. Uh, that really helps. And hit the like button. We love it when you hit the like button. I'm here with my best girl right here, and uh, she's been great help today. And we appreciate all the work that she gave to us. And uh, <laughs> it takes two. It's good to have a uh, great helper like Pat. She always helps out a lot. So thank you, Patty. And we'll see you on the next video sometime.